Tourists and visitors were told to think about boarding up and moving inland. Some decided to get out early. Others are opting to ride it out. News Channel 36 reporter Michelle Bowden is in our mobile newsroom live tonight from Wrightsville Beach with that part of the story. Hi, Michelle. Hi guys. Well, you know, one of the things this area is known for, in addition, of course, to the beach you see behind me, is Wilmington's historic business district. And we know that earlier today, some of the businesses there were boarding up, even as tourists were shopping around that plywood. And that sort of sums things up, the attitude around here. They know this storm is calling, coming. They know, though, that it's not huge and that it's not here just yet. It's just another day at the beach for some. Everything's you know, pretty textbook for a tropical storm coming in. Though admittedly not your average day at the beach. You do know that most people out here think you guys are crazy. Yeah, we live for that. <laughs> I mean, we wait all year for storms like this to come around just to surf. Others, though, aren't waiting around for Hannah. A Wilmington nursing home evacuated all 65 patients this morning. You have to be very, very careful because even though they might predict that the storm might go elsewhere or the storm might be as, might not be as bad as we uh, in the beginning thought, you never know. Some vacationers are also leaving earlier than planned. We just, uh, we plan on staying until uh, Saturday, but they got uh, guys here going ahead and brewing the windows up, so we're going to call it a day. And but most locals, even some UNC Wilmington College students, plan on riding it out. I know that, we, you know, there'd be a mandatory evacuation if, if it was going to be really bad here, so just kind of sitting tight, hoping the power stays on the whole time, and, and we'll see what happens. So here's the part that everyone's really enjoying right now. You can see there's lots more people coming along to the beach, just checking out these waves that are building every half an hour, even as we're joining you. And we're seeing more and more surfers, of course, getting in to try and enjoy those waves. But on a more serious note, there have been voluntary evacuations. We haven't heard about too many. Last night, we visited UNC Wilmington, where there were voluntary evacuations at the dorms. Not too many students taking advantage. It was about a 50-50 ratio of some students leaving the dorms on their own. And there are three emergency shelters set up here in New Hanover County, about 100 people taking advantage of those so people still trying to stick it out see what happens but as of right now they know just a tropical storm may be a category one they say they can handle that here at Wrightsville Beach in Wilmington so reporting live now with our mobile newsroom in Wrightsville Beach Michelle Bogan News Channel 36. Well,